gas first of April 2018, that can now be commissioned after 10 months. What used to happen is um, a gas sales certificate was valid for 12 months. So if you did after 10 months, you'd only have another 12 months. You won't have 14 months, but when you renew, renew your passport, you get what, what the date expires plus a bit in between. Now, you can do it after 10 months, so you've got continuation because you need continuation between the two. So you can now do, get your gas certificate all organised after 10 months, but it won't start coming into effect until the um, expiry of your current gas certificate. Um, and also, you only, uh, they will only need now to know immediately dangerous or high risks, because used to do for everything, so the advisor put now that uh, uh, um, fire, the, the, this is an old one, fire safety of furniture and furnishings provided as a tenancy. We don't have much of that nowadays, but it, it's still there. Um, Legionnaire's disease. As landlords, um, you are responsible for a risk assessment. You haven't got to test for it to see whether you have got Legionnaire's, but you have to take do a risk assessment every two years. Now, a risk assessment can say, well, I mean, incidentally, has anybody heard of alleged Legionnaire's disease case in residential property? Because I haven't. Um, plenty in property five story hotels, you know, in the top of the top story where all the storage tanks are, um, but on residential property. So why they brought this in, I don't know, but it's another piece of legislation which we don't really need. A risk assessment can be, for example, if you've got a, a, a water storage tank in your loft, is it covered? That's the risk assessment. Is the pipe worth that? And I've stuck on the bottom there, the inventory and general condition, because time and time and time again, we have landlords say, oh, I'll do the inventory, because they want to save 125, 150 quid. And the inventory reads lounge, carpet, light switch, door. anybody knows in the property anyway. Um, whereas a proper inventory and shared condition, that's as important as a, as a, as a, a short, short old tenancy now. Um, because going back to the um, registration of the security deposit, if you haven't got one of those, a good one of those, you won't win. So when the tenant messes up the carpet, you're going to have to stump up another hundred pounds um, because they messed it up. So what's around the corner? That's all what's in place at the moment. So what we've just done is all the place. I've got about another 10 slides now, what's around the corner. There's lots of things coming in. Safety of electrics. At the moment, um, uh, electrical tests are, we advise strongly to happen because if something goes wrong, you, it's your responsibility as a landlord, but it's not mandatory. It's not mandatory to have electrical tests. Um, but in November 2017, there was a consultation paper and they were basically saying, um, we're going to make it mandatory, and uh, it will come in. It's a question of, of the date, really. That's the only thing I don't know the answer to. Um, it's going to be five yearly inspections, which is really what we recommend now. Um, and it may find its way into the How to Rent Guide. And if it does that, because you have to serve that, you have to serve the How to Rent Guide um, when you start um, a tenancy. So if you haven't got that in the, in, so if you haven't got that five yearly inspection, and so it's not in the How to Rent Guide. When you serve your section 21, they just say, where's your, where's your electrical tape, test? You haven't got it, oh, you, oh, sorry, can't give you possession. So um, that's going to be important. And I guess probably there's going to be another financial penalty as well, because there normally is 5,000 or something because you don't have one else. And if it comes uh, in, in, in their all new tenancies, we will be affected, and probably a year later, existing tenancies. So because you've got an existing tenant, tenant in there, doesn't mean to say that you escape. This is a proposed, it's not, not in uh, law yet, but it's something we're coming around the corner. Um, EPCs at the moment, as I said, sort of, you know, minimum standard is E. I think eventually what will happen is that will include um, E, so, so the minimum standard will be A, B, C, D, E, uh, D. Um, so E, F and G will be illegal. So that, that's, that's something that hasn't come to, look, to, to pass yet, but it's something in the future. Private Landlords Registration Bill, landlords, uh, according to this, um, would have to be registered. 
Um, second reading uh, just gone, <coughs> sort of, uh, actually no, it's um, two days time, I think. Uh, three days time. Um, and, uh, but, so second, second reading in October, I don't think that's probably going to come to pass. Um, who's going who's to, um, who's got the time to um, police it? Yeah, so, but, it's, but nevertheless, it's got a second reading in, in the uh, House of Commons. Um, the Homes for Fitness for Human and Habitation Bill second reading in 19th of January next year. Um, probably been inevitable, so it's probably going to come in effect, and the legal effect would be to amend the Section 8 notice. Again, it's going back to having uh, the property in a um, suitable standard for someone to live in. But there will just be more onerous tasks. And our good friend Shelter, anybody sort of a member of Shelter, the charity? You can put your hand up, I won't shoot you. <laughs> um, they are lobbying the government to introduce tenancy for the minimum of five years. Now that's got to affect all of us. Um, the Tory government, up until about a month ago, said we want a minimum of three years. And I think they've now planned that. A week later, Jeremy Corbyn <coughs> said, I've got, we've got a good idea. I think we'll have minimum tenancies of three years. Um, so I think something like that will probably come in. It's a question of um, when and how much. But that's fine because um, they, will, they, they say they're going to still give mandatory grounds for uh, possession, i.e. if you want to sell it for your own occupation or to uh, improve it for historical furniture. Um, and um, what we will do is we will put a, uh, an automatic uh, rent review, obviously upwards, uh, every 12 months as well. So you can put your rent up every 12 months.